Welcome back to my channel, guys. We're out here in Midtown in Tampa. This is a very upscale area. A lot of nice stores here. You got like Sephora behind me, some upscale restaurants, very, very fancy area. So if you guys are looking to spend a day here in Tampa, I definitely recommend coming out here. You got a nice boba store, kill me crazy. We're gonna do a food review there today. The food kitchen, they got a lot of stuff out here. So come check it out. And today we're bringing out a brand new flag, which I thought was appropriate for the area. That's right, Bidenomics is where you work harder to earn less and you spend more to live worse. That's Bidenomics. We've seen prices go up across all industries, electric, insurance, food prices, gas prices, you name it. I bet your prices have gone up multiple times since 2019. All right, guys, anyway, we're going to uh, ask people here how they feel about Bidenomics. Do they like it? Do they want more of it? Four more years of Bidenomics? To be honest, I don't think anyone could afford it at this point except for the 1%. Even them, they're probably annoyed by it too. Record inflation, record gas prices is out of control. All right, guys, let's see what happens. And as always, if you want to support my work, you know what to do. GiveSendGo.com slash Adam Francisco. Support my work here on the street. Support my battle against kidney failure. Or if you just like me and you want to give me a gift, that'll be nice as well. Appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, God bless Trump. But are you guys uh, fans of Bidenomics? I don't even know what you're saying to me right now. <laughs> the Joe Biden economy. In I... the past three years, we've had record inflation, Record gas prices, record rental prices. Yeah, it's been crazy, yeah. Food prices have gone up. Yep. They've doubled the amount in the last three years. Am I a fan of paying more money now? Yeah, of, of what's it called? Paying more and living worse. No, not a fan of that. So do you miss the Trump economy? <laughs> oh, there's a camera I'm not saying. Anything political <laughs> on camera. You're wearing, you're wearing MAGA red, so I assume you stand with Trump. I'm oh not going to let you assume. I stand with Trump. I love Trump. Trump's my daddy. Do you guys enjoy Bidenomics? Um, it's uh, the Joe Biden economy. Record gas prices, record inflation, record rental prices, housing prices, mortgage rates. Are you guys enjoying Bidenomics? No. So you miss the Trump economy? Yes. We're gonna get him back if we do it together, guys, all right? No, we're probably, yep. So one of the, uh, the worst parts about Bidenomics is the mortgage rates. You know, if you had a, bought a house during Donald Trump era, you could have gotten a mortgage rate sub 3%. Today in Joe Biden's America, mortgage rates are around, I think, 8%. So over the life of a loan, let's say, when you pay a 30-year loan, in Biden's economy, you end up spending about half a million more over the life of the loan than you did buying a house in the Trump economy. Half a million dollars. That is such a huge difference. It's such a huge difference. And it really is a disgrace. You know, when they said to us, we're going to own nothing and be happy, this is, pro this is part of what they meant. They're going to make it impossible for somebody making an average income of 55k a year to purchase a home is really sad and my heart breaks for the future generations you know there was a point in time in american history where you could buy a home on a single income on a single income a working father a stay-at-home mother two kids a picket fence a dog no problem but today Thanks, Joe Biden. And thanks, Joe Biden voters. What are your thoughts on Bidenomics? Not good. It's pretty bad, right? Very. Mortgage rates are at 8%. Right. Inflation, 40-year high. Yeah. Gas prices, 40-year high. Border. Our dollar's worth almost nothing. Yep. So, do you miss the Trump economy? Absolutely. Do you think you're going to vote for Trump this election? I know I'm going to vote for Trump. You know why you are? I absolutely. I'll tell do. you why, because you're a feminine woman. Masculine women vote for Joe, uh, for Joe Biden. Have you noticed that? No. It's true. People that match their gender typically vote for Donald Trump. People that are like non-binary, they usually vote for Joe Biden. So what are you saying? I'm, I'm Trump train all day. Oh, okay. I'm, okay. A, I'm a huge Trump supporter. Oh, okay. I've been doing this for four years, waving my flags all over the country. Oh, really? I've been to about 15 Trump rallies. I've been on his YouTube channel. I've been on Fox News. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I stand we with need Trump. you. And I'm a Mexican immigrant, too. Really? So I'm, breaking well, the, I'm breaking the narrative down. Well, well, that's great. We need people like you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll see you guys at the polls in a few yeah. months. Yeah, God bless. God bless okay. you guys. All right, guys, welcome back to another food review. We're out here today in Tampa at a place called Midtown, and this is actually one of my favorite restaurants in Tampa. It's called Kale Meat Crazy. If you guys are looking to eat healthy, get a lot of protein in your diet, and get some fresh food, this is where you need to come. And uh, the sandwich I always get is the chicken pesto. Check it out. Ooh la la. Yeah, it's got chicken, mozzarella, avocado, pesto sauce, lettuce, some carrots. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, we're so good. This place also has things like tuna sandwiches, acai bowls, you know, kale bowls. I mean, they got so much stuff here. Smoothies, you name it, they have it here. It's a great place. And uh, I'm a big fan of this drink. It's cold pressed, fresh daily. And this was uh, pineapple, grapefruit, turmeric. I think I drink this one almost every single day. And it's just so good. And yeah, the owner is a uh, true patriot. So if you guys want to support a true patriot here in the Tampa area, kill me crazy, come check it out. And uh, yeah, God bless Clean Eats, let's go. Ladies, what are your thoughts on uh, Bidenomics? We're about, we're, I'm voting, voting for Biden. But what do you think about Bidenomics? Record mortgage rates, record inflation, record gas prices. Don't you miss the Trump economy? We all felt richer. So that woman uh, proudly stated that she's going to be voting for Joe Biden in the next election. So, you know, these guys do it. These people do exist. We just met one. She was pretty quick to say she's going to vote for Joe Biden. These people don't care about the carnage, chaos, struggle, war. They don't care because they're in a cult. When you are willing to do something, despite all the pain it causes you, you're in a cult. And at least our cult is cooler. We got merch. We got rallies, we got parades, we got boats, we got trucks, we got guns. Yeah, we're in the cool cult. I said it once, I said it before. We're in the cooler cult. Gentlemen, what are your thoughts on Bidenomics so far? Joe Biden's trying to campaign that his economy's been good. No. I'm with you, 100%. That's right, God bless you guys, true patriots. Ma'am, what do you think about Bidenomics? He's trying to campaign that our economy's good right now. It's not, right? Most Americans are struggling today just to pay rent. We need Trump back. Trump's gonna fix his economy. He's gonna save us from communism, that's right. God bless Donald J. Trump, the comeback is on. What are your thoughts on Bidenomics? I have to, I'm in a hurry, sorry. Time is money. We all need to make more of it in Joe Biden's economy because he's killing us. Joe Biden's trying to destroy the lower and middle classes. And he's doing a fantastic job at it. He's gutting the middle and lower classes. It's gonna basically be like India. We're gonna have the wealthy elites and then we're gonna have the little peasants. And that's it. It's gonna be a two-class system, wealth and poor. Wealth and abject poverty. English. Okay, okay, let's check it. Okay, no, why would I don't want to be... But why would you start with... I'm, I'm doing it by and safety. I'm asking that you but why, that well, why would you start... I don't give you permission. I don't need permission. I'm in public. Okay, so it seems like this conversation is not going to go well. What I'm I, asking that you take... Let me ask you, though. Why would you, why would you ask I if I spoke Spanish for... I don't need permission. I'm in public. Okay, so I'll go ahead and call the police. You can. I'll but let me ask you a question. Why did you ask if I spoke Spanish first? But why not ask if I speak English first? This is a private property. Right, but why not ask if I speak English first? Why? No, I was trying to see if we which, but why wouldn't you like that? Well, you that should be the say, default, though. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and shut down because I know that's actually Thank you. No, I'm just saying that should be the default. I don't go up to somebody in America and be like, "Hi, do you speak Lithuanian?" I say, "Hi, do you speak English?" Or I just start speaking in English. It's just weird. He came up to me like, not thinking I spoke English. It's a little weird. And I'm on the sidewalk, so. Yeah, but I have First and Amendment rights. It's right free speech. I want the police to tell me that. this. I think this is public, the sidewalk. And if I've asked that, that means that that's not okay. This is right, but I believe the sidewalk's public. Okay. No, this is a private property. You're in mid So where, where's, the, where's the line where it becomes public? Uh, Sephora. Sephora on Great Mercy. No, about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. Let's tell the truth here. I'm just asking where the private property ends.
Yeah. I'm gonna wait for them. Shih Tzu. Yeah, and Yorkie. And Yorkie. Um, he has one in green, army fatigue shirt, and you'll see him with a perfect Biden flag and a set of, of a camera and stand. This, it's an anti Biden flag. Shake that? Yeah. Is that shot? Oh, and the green light goes on the top of the This is anti Biden flag, not a Biden flag. Yeah. I just want the police to tell me where the public property starts and, and where private ends. So, Alright guys, we're out here and uh, someone of course called security because as we know, liberals love censoring speech they don't agree with. <clears throat> and this flag isn't even, even triggering, it just says, Binonomics, pay more, live worse. So I want the police to come, I'm not going to run away from them just so we can solve this and dispute, figure out what's going on. Yeah, I'll wait here so I can talk to the police. I'll be here. I'm not going to run away and hide. I'll talk to them and see what the, what the real rules are. Nice to meet you. All right, guys, so the police are on their way. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm not willing to get trespassed, but I just want them to tell me where private property begins and where public property begins because I've only been on the sidewalk this entire time with my flag. So I thought technically sidewalk's public and I want the police to tell me if it's true or not. So we'll see what happens. But uh, if I do ha end up having to leave, I will just change location today and probably go to Clearwater Beach for part two of the video. All right, let's see what happens, guys. It's crazy to me because these are the same people that say things like lift up brown voices, lift up black voices, listen to people of color. But yet when you say things that they disagree with, they can't handle it. They get so triggered that they have to report you to authorities. It's unbelievable. What do you guys think about Bidenomics? The Joe Biden economy? So guys, it's been like 15 minutes. I haven't moved. There's been no sign of police yet which means this probably isn't that urgent for them. Or they assume it's like a First Amendment audit. I don't know if you guys have seen those videos on YouTube, but there are these First Amendment auditors like uh, Tua Pri or Amagansen Press, where they go around with cameras to public places and film to try to get reactions to people so that they could enforce their First Amendment rights. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to do political street content where I interview people, have conversations. But sometimes my videos turn into a bit of a First Amendment audit situation, which is where I'm in right now. Because I just want to find out where's public, where's private? Because I'm under the assumption sidewalks are public property. You know, if I go into a store and film, they could tell me not to and they could tell me to leave. What are your thoughts on uh, Bidenomics? Say that again? What are your thoughts on Bidenomics? Uh, That's the Joe Biden economy. I don't have any thoughts on don't it. Don't you miss the Trump economy though? Wages were up, inflation was down, gas prices were down. What are your thoughts on Bidenomics? All right, guys, I don't know what's going on. Police aren't coming. I've been here for like almost 20 minutes now, waiting for the police to come, and they're not showing up. So I'm going to change locations anyway, but I'm pretty sure this is public property. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure, which is why they're probably not coming, because the police know that I'm gonna end up being in the right. You know, a lot of these businesses, like, they don't really know the laws. You know, they think they might have like policies, but they're not laws. And you only have to really follow lawful orders in public. So I'm not doing anything wrong. What are your thoughts on Bidenomics? And what? Bidenomics. What's that? What is it? Bidenomics. That's what Joe Biden calls his oh, economic policy. Bidenomics. That's what he him. calls it. He says that it's Bidenomics is working. I hate he him. says that our economy is good. He sucks. So I want to know, do you guys feel that it's working for you? No. The no. Economy? No. No. It's not. No. No. Yeah. Do you? No. No, I, I always say Bidenomics is work harder, earn less. That's right. Spend more, live worse. That's yeah. right. Thank you. He's hey, so, yeah. I think you're onto it. He's let me ask you idiot. another question real quick. If the election comes down to Trump versus Biden again, who are you voting for? Trump. Trump. Question. Trump. It will never be Biden. It will 
be anybody but Biden. Oh, no. And what would you say to a Biden voter if you could tell them well, why I they shouldn't? Well, I sister. They're Biden, so we, we can't even talk politics. because You just have to ignore the whole topic. They live in California. They're freaks, so I can't even, you know, yeah. talk Are they politics. non-binary? Uh, whatever they are. They're amazing women, but they believe in Biden. And I think oh, they he love has them. sucked for four years. And I thought, well, how do you feel about him now? They love him. I hate him. I, I think they're in denial. I think they just have to stick to they the story. They have to. I, oh, I, I it love is. They are yeah. in denial. And he's like... Yeah, he's got dementia full blown. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'm a Mexican immigrant. I've been here almost my whole life. I like America for a lot of the values we have, but if you, it seems the Democrats are trying to change those every day. Oh. You know? Can't Isn't that it. the truth, but. I go it. on dates. I don't know if it's a man or woman anymore. Because <laughs> the woman might have a dick. I know. You know I what know. I'm saying? I don't know anymore. Listen, I went to a restaurant the other day and I wasn't sure if it was male or female. It's confusing. It was weird. It is. Times are confusing. I didn't know. I just went along with it and said, yeah. whatever. You know, whatever. My food. I was like, well, you guys were great to talk to. Cool. Well, you're nice talking to, to you too. Have, have a great coffee. day. They're Thank adorable. you. Have a great day. How are you guys liking Bidenomics so far? It's a pretty bad economy right now, right? Joe Biden's destroying us. Got to get Trump back. Bidenomics. Pay more, live worse. Yeah, sure. Work harder, earn less. Yeah. You guys agree? Yeah. You're patriots, that's why. You guys agree? Bidenomics, work harder, earn less. Spend more, live worse. We need Trump back. Had a much better economy back then. Everybody was richer. It's true. Joe Biden's destroyed our economy. He destroyed our safety, our security. Our borders wide open, fentanyl's pouring in. It's a disgrace. Anybody who voted for this is a disgrace. Abject failure. Abject failure. If you voted for Joe Biden, you should literally be ashamed of yourself. You should repent and you should also pay Trump supporters reparations. You know, because when we had Trump, we had sub $2 gas down here in Florida. Joe Biden comes in, our gas is now $5. Well, not now, but it was for like three years. It's truly a disgrace. Seem like smart gentlemen. Do you guys miss the Donald Trump economy? Listen. Bidenomics, work harder, earn less. Spend more, live worse. What are your thoughts on Bidenomics? No comment. Record inflation, record gas prices, no record mortgage rates. We're going bankrupt as a nation because of Joe Biden's policies. God keeps printing money out of, out of his ass like it comes out of freaking sand, like it grows on trees. What? <laughs> what did I just say, that it comes out of sand? That doesn't even make any sense. Anyway, guys, we're out here in uh, Clearwater Beach. We've switched locations. You know, they, they called the police apparently, but the police never showed up. Uh, I was there for about 30 minutes waiting for them. But I did want to come to the beach there anyway because it is 80 degrees out today. So we're here, Clearwater Beach, for part two of my Bidenomics video. So let's see what happens. Joe Biden's killing us. He's destroying the middle class, the lower class. So it's, it's not, no, it's a matter of math. 8% mortgage rates, record inflation, record gas prices. It's a, it's a disgrace. Our economy's in shambles. Based on every objective measure, our economy is in the shit right now. It's not a matter of opinion. Based on every objective measure, our economy is doing horribly right now. And that's a fact. You agree? Bidenomics. Work harder, earn less. He's killing us. He's trying to starve us out. I know you agree. You've seen the price of everything go up in the last three years. Yeah, we need Trump back. I agree. We need some deflation. You guys agree, right? Bidenomics, work harder, earn less. Spend more, live worse. He was so good in 2019 when we had Trump. That's right, we're gonna get him back. Trump's coming back to save us, don't worry guys. All right. Trump's on his way. All right. Daddy Trump's here to rescue all of us. You agree, right? Yeah, but you know Trump is better for us. We need Trump. Okay. We need Trump to save us. Stop the wars, fix the economy, close the border. Worst economy of our lifetime. Thanks to Joe Biden. Remember guys, the 2020 election was rigged and stolen. Never forget that. 3 a.m., the magical mail-in ballot dumps. Yeah, that's right. That's why they paused the count at 3 a.m. So they could figure out how many ballots they had to print in order to beat Trump. It's, it's, it's a disgrace. I know you guys agree. Yes. Bidenomics. Work harder, live worse. Yes, bad That's deal. That's right. It's horrible. We got to get Trump back. That's a Trump smile. I know it is. That's a smile for Donald Trump. 
Hey, by the way, guys, this video is sponsored by JoeBidenHatesYou.com. It's the website where you get all your official political merch. When I say official, I mean it's my, in my own website. So check it out, JoeBidenHatesYou.com. All shirts are like 16 bucks, so it's a pretty good price. Go check it out. I know you're a Trump supporter. You know how I know? How's that? Because you're a very masculine man. Oh, thank you. You got the beard. It looks good. I'm a gay man. I'm a Trump supporter. Yeah, but you're masculine looking too. You got the beard as well. God bless you guys. You're all patriots. You're not commies. Oh, thank you for the service, sir. You're not a commie. Only commies vote for Joe Biden. Bidenomics. Work harder, earn less. Spend more, live worse. Agree? Agree. I love it. You're a patriot. I know you guys agree. Because you guys are family oriented. <laughs> Democrats are godless destroyers of the nuclear family. Conservatives are about a two parent household with values. Conservatives respect the family. Democrats hate the family. It's true. Democrats destroy the family. Conservatives honor the family. That's how it is. So I think I think the craziest thing, guys, is that the Democrats support pornography in schools for kids. Democrats support pornography in school for kids. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. If I had to bet my last dollar, I would bet that you're a Trump supporter. Yes, I am. I just became super rich. You know how I knew? Because you have very positive energy. People that people that look depressed and sad are usually Democrats. I believe that. Yep. If this was the Trump economy, you guys would be in Hawaii right now. Yeah. Not Clearwater Beach. Right. Right? We need Trump back. That's right. Let me ask you a question. What are you what are your thoughts on uh, Bidenomics? Um That's the Joe Biden economy? I don't like anything about that guy. So, so you you miss Trump? I mean I don't I'm not a political person. But, but if I, you had to choose. Definitely would pick Trump. For sure. You know why? Because there's, there's this uh, study that showed that beautiful people tend to be Republican and yeah. ugly people tend to be Democrats. Oh. No, it's true. You could oh. research it on Google. Thanks for the compliment. Yeah, so you, you, you passed the test. Awesome. That's right. I told you guys, attractive people vote for Trump. Ugly people vote for Joe Biden. It's 90% accurate. It's actually been proven. It's a real study, seriously. <laughs> Good looking people tend to be conservative and Republican. Did you know that? Do you know why that is? It's because good looking people tend to earn more money, so they're more fiscally conservative. That's the, that's kind of how the logic breaks down. Yeah. yeah. Democrats are all about free things, you know, hand me outs. We gotta get Trump back. We gotta fix this country. Gotta undo all the damage that Joe Biden's done. So disappointing. We were doing so well. We were doing so well for three years. Let me ask you guys a quick question. What are your thoughts on Bidenomics? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What are your what are you, what are your thoughts on Bidenomics? Bidenomics? Yeah. Explain this to you. It's uh, the Joe Biden economy. I think it's interesting. <laughs> we have uh, record gas prices, record inflation rates, yeah. eight percent mortgage rates. People are struggling every day in this in this in this right. economy. Right. Your rent's probably gone up. Yeah. Oh, like that's Bidenomics. Work harder and earn less. Spend more and live worse. That's something I can get down with. So my question is. Don't you want Trump back so that you can feel rich again? I'm not gonna lie. I have to admit, when Trump was there, the gas prices were like in the ones. Isn't that amazing? That was great. It so took like $25 to fill my car. It was 20 bucks for my car. Yeah. That was crazy. So, do you want Trump back? No new wars. He'll stop the war in Israel. He'll stop the war in Ukraine. He'll stop. Ra He's not racist. He's not racist. He's done, he's done more for the black community than any president, with the exception of Abraham Lincoln. He took two million black Americans off of food stamps because they had wage growth. He helped black men get out of jail. You know, Joe Biden put them in jail in 1994. Yeah. In his crime bill. Honestly, I'll get you a bag for the five. All, as well as all the things he did. He's just funny, too. He's okay. hilarious. I, I can't lie. He's hilarious, he's right? He's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Trump train. <laughs> Are you on the Trump train, too? All right, guys. That is going to wrap it up today. We did two different cities today. We did Tampa and we did Clearwater Beach. And uh, it seems like most people do not like Bidenomics. Uh, we're trying to ruin the name because if Joe Biden is going to campaign on this word, we need to make sure people know the truth about it. Bidenomics is trash. Bidenomics is a path to poverty. 
Anyway, guys, if you like my video, you know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm getting a lot of reports that people have to keep resubscribing. So just make sure you're subscribed. And uh, once again, if you want some more work, gibsongo.com slash Adam Francisco. I appreciate you guys. And as always, God bless Trump. <laughs>